Hello and welcome. So I am so happy to share that the Sicily Friends and Family sale has started. So it kind of took me a bit by surprise. I heard about the boutique sale and then usually the, the online sale starts after that, but it popped up today. So I figured let's go ahead, film some of my favorites because it's been a while. And I've purchased a lot more Sicily makeup since my last sort of collection video. So we've got a quick get ready with me that we'll do first. And I try to keep that brief so we can really focus on lots of swatches and then let's go ahead and go through my let's get ready with me with Sisley. we're using the Surratt this is the perfectionist primer which is my favorite and then we're gonna go in with the Sisley cushion I'm taking the Koyoto uh, F04 this is a synthetic foundation brush and it's one of my all-time favorites for <laughs> many many years I have a lot of these brushes, um, you know, cause they bring out these special colors periodically like this red handle and so forth. And then I end up picking them up. Now my cushion is running dry. So this is my second cushion. I have replaced it and you can't buy, per um, can't purchase refills here in the U S but Selfridges carries refills. So that's where I purchase them. And I love the finish of this foundation. The color is a little bit deeper than what I would like. Um, you know, it's it works, but it's just a little bit darker. So here's the foundation. I'll bring you in. So you can see you have a really beautiful radiant finish, but it's still pretty natural looking. Absolutely love this foundation. And I have shade 00 C Swan. I can't believe I forgot it, but typically every day I put on the Sisley Blur Expert in Zero Light and somehow I just forgot it today, <laughs> but that is always a go-to for me. So normally I would put on the Surat Primer and then that powder and it really helps kind of, uh, you know, blur everything underneath. It makes a really beautiful base. For setting powder today, I'm taking the Sisley Fido Pudra Compact and I'm using the Koyoto monochrome brush. This is one of my favorite powder brushes. Let me bring you in. So we're just doing a really quick get ready with me because I definitely don't wanna take up too much time of this video with the application, but I wanna share some of my favorite products. I wanna spend most of the time though <laughs> swatching shades. So that hopefully that helps you with all of your buying decisions. So this is one of my favorite setting powders. I use this one frequently. You can see I've got quite a bit of a dent in here, but honestly, this has taken like years to get to that point because you really, I like it with a fluffier brush and you just need like the tiniest bit. For the blush today, we're going in with this Sicily Fido blush in shade number three, Coral. I'm using the Sheer Buffer from Sonia G. I typically use a smooth buffer with this style of blush. This is like a gel to powder formula and it can be pretty intense, but I wanted to go even lighter today. So I went with the sheer buffer, but if you want even more pigmentation, definitely buffing it in with the smooth buffer, I think gives a little bit more color and it just gives a beautiful finish. So you get a little bit of radiance from the blush just naturally, there's no like shimmer or anything. There is shimmer in the shade Golden Rose, but not in the rest of the shades. Shade six is technically a highlighter that's called Shimmer, and I really don't like that one. I would definitely pass on that. So here's the blush. You can see it's a really beautiful coral color. It blends in beautifully, it lasts all day. It's one of my very favorite blush formulas. Now for the eyes, some of my favorite things to do with Sisley use the eye crayons. Oops. Such butterfingers today, but this is a brand new one. I picked this up during the Selfridges sale this winter and you can see I now dented it. So this is shade number two and I like to put this on and then go in with the powder shadows on top. So these are both new shades to me. So let's go ahead and uh, put this one on. I believe I have to check the package, but I think this one's called Steel. I wish they would put the names on the sticks, but they only have the numbers. So I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of smudge this in. Let me bring you in closer. All right, so here is number two going on to the other side. You can see these are silky smooth going on. Very thin, lightweight texture. Uh, these are my favorite eye crayons. 
These, the Bobby Brown and the Victoria Beckham round out my top three for eye crayons and love them. So I'm going to take the Ruffer 28 and this is shade 30 Silky Sky. And these powder shadows, I really like them, but I do find that they crease a bit if I like, like on their own. So I like to pair them with the eye crayons and surprisingly that combination does not crease. Usually I feel like it's the eye crayons that crease before like a powder shadow, but I don't know with the Sicily it's a little different. So I'm just putting the, the silky sky uh, kind of on the inner third. And then the Sicily Fido Coastal eyeliners are some of my favorites. So of course I picked up some new shades and this one here is sparkling blue. So they have a variety of different finishes in these. You've got matte, you've got sparkling, you have like more of a satin. This one here, the sparkling has a little bit of glitter and I can see a little bit of that blue or that silver glitter coming out. And what I like about these is they are very, very creamy easy to glide on, but then they fully set. So this doesn't want to focus super close. I don't know if the glitter is an issue, but you can kind of see here the glitter in the bullet. So one of my favorite mascaras is the Sisley So Stretch. I like the brown shade. I'm not going to open this one though, because I have a bunch of open mascaras I want to use up. So I'm going to do that and I'll meet you back in a second. All right. So those are the eyes. And then highlighter from Sisley. I don't have one that's like strictly a highlighter that I love, but I love these Lorca Day blushes, which are radiant blushes that are very, very light and sheer. So you can use them as a blush, which is what I usually do, or you can use them as a highlighter. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to take this Tansado highlighter brush, and this is in shade three Corail. And when you get these blushes, they actually have a bit more of a, um, top coat on there which you know is pretty glittery so just something to know but once you wear that away this is what you get so you can see for a highlighter it's pretty subtle you get a little bit of a sheen but not much these are great for a lightweight radiant blush and while we're in clothes this is a new lipstick I purchased this is shade 24 So this lipstick I purchased again during the Selfridges sale this winter. This is a color that's been on my list for a while. It's not a new shade, but it's new to me. With this lipstick formula, when I'm using the brighter colors, I do typically like to use a lip pencil. I love the Sisley lip pencils, but I've only had a couple of them. So I purchased more of those as well. Let's take a look. This one here is the shade that, uh, you know, I figured would go with that. This is burgundy. So I'm gonna bring you in close. I'm just gonna outline around the lips. All right, so that's a bit messy. I have to clean that up. So that's the look. And yeah, I like to go in with the lip liner after applying the lipstick if I just wanna kind of sharpen the edges. But if I'm looking for like longevity and you know making sure things don't get out of the lip line, I like to put it on prior to lipstick. So yeah, let's go ahead and do some swatches. So I hope that was helpful. On ShopMy, I do have shopping guides. So if you go to my ShopMy page and you go to like the full page, you'll see there are headings at the top and you know, I've got like posts and then there are shopping guides and things like that. Shopping guides are where I keep my recommendation list and I don't like to just list the products. I like to explain why I like something or what I like about it, particular shades, things like that. So it's more of a detailed guide. So I do have a Sisley guide there as well that I've updated. But before we get into the makeup, I just want to share my top favorite items from their hair care and skincare lines. So I used to use a lot of Sisley skincare. Right now, there are still like some holy grail products from them that I love to use. The first one being the Hydro Global Serum. And keep in mind, it, with this same packaging, there's a moisturizer like this. I don't like the moisturizer. It was not worth it for me at all. But this anti-aging hydration booster, it has to say booster on there, is phenomenal. So I put this on, I use this about half the year. 
anytime my skin needs extra hydration or whatever. So I'll put this on first. And then after about 30 seconds or so, I add my moisturizer. So I have it on today. It is one of my favorites. Then eye masks. Anytime I do a face mask, I always use the Sisley Eye Contour Mask, uh, particularly if I'm taking like a hot bath or something, which honestly doesn't happen as much as it should. Um, but I love putting, you know, a moisturizing face mask on and I always go for the Sisley Eye Contour Mask. Sometimes I even put this on while I'm working out so that, you know, I get the extra benefits when I'm really tired in the morning. So, uh, yeah, I just think it's a great eye mask and you can even use this as eye cream. It's, if you were to use this as eye cream, it's a one full ounce. So then it's actually a pretty good deal for eye cream. You can use the smallest bit for that. Now, probably my number one favorite skincare item from Sisley, I might all-time favorite face mask from any brand at all is the Sisley Hydro Flash Mask. This mask, it's expensive, so I use it for special occasions. I absolutely love this. This is one of those masks that really gives you that radiant skin. Anytime I have a big event to go to, uh, I always use this the night before to kind of prep my skin. It just makes everything look a little bit more radiant, a little bit more even tone. And you know, this has beta hydroxy acids, essential oils, and so forth. So it's to leave on for about 10 minutes. I've left it on longer than that. I don't use this one overnight, but I have used it, you know, like I like to put on a face mask and then do like my cleaning and stuff. So, you know, sometimes I'll be cleaning bathrooms and have it on for like an hour or something. And then I get in the shower and wash it off. So I do leave it on for t more than 10 minutes usually, but I love it. It is the absolute best mask in my opinion. And this particular bottle, I have maybe a third left. So thinking of getting another one now during the sale. Then we have the Sisley. This is the lip balm, the Nutritive Lip Balm. This is my go-to. I always go back to this. I've gone through countless tubs of this. They did change the formula a couple of years ago. I did personally prefer the other one slightly more, but honestly, it's pretty close. This one feels a little bit lighter weight uh, to my recollection, but I love it. So I'm already on my second tub of the new formula. So you can see, yeah, I, I keep this one in my bathroom sink. So this is what I'll put on usually first thing in the morning and, you know, if I don't need like heavy reparations overnight, I'll use this one at night as well. And then for hair care, I love the restructuring nourishing balm. So I will put this on, you know, at night before bed, not, not that often, honestly, <laughs> maybe like once every few weeks, I will coat my hair in it, braid it and sleep in it and then wash it out in the morning. And then the other thing, I have a new bottle of this, but this is the precious hair care oil. So I went through countless samples of this and then finally purchased a full size. And this would probably last me an entire lifetime because I need the tiniest amount. So if you can get a sample of it, I would recommend starting off with those. The little sample bottles, they're like this tiny. And I want to say I get like a month's worth of use out of it because I need so little, something like that. So it might even be more than a month, but it's that that little, just the tiniest bit, and it really just kind of separates things on your hair without getting greasy, and yeah, I absolutely love it. So that's one of my favorites, one of my all-time favorite hair care products. So I hope that was helpful. Let's move on to the makeup. Let's start off with base products. So we're gonna start off with foundations, and I've got quite a few of them still. I'm actually gonna be purging some of these. Let's start off with the Fido Tent Nude. This is a very lightweight water-based foundation, and I have shade 000N Snow. It's a little bit too light for me. Um, it's an okay foundation. This is gonna be very light coverage. I don't love it though, so this is not one that I plan on repurchasing, and yeah, it's just, for me, it's just okay, but getting a shade match in this was really difficult. This is a little bit too light for me. The next shade up was a little bit too dark. So I'm still, you know, even though they've really expanded their shade ranges, 
it still can be pretty difficult to find one. So this here is the newest foundation, the Fido Temp Perfection in 00N Pearl. And this foundation, this is a matte foundation. This is a much better color match for me. It's a little finicky going on. You have to really, you know, I had to play with it a few times to get the right application method down, or it could kind of look a little dry or enhance dryness on my skin. But once I figure it out, you know, what works best for me, how I want my skin to be primed and so forth, then I ended up liking this foundation. So I like it, but I don't love it. So, you know, it's still, it's not my favorite matte foundation or anything like that, but I do think it's okay. <laughs> and then we have the Sisleya La Tent, which was a huge splurge. This is really old now at this point. So I probably should um, get rid of this one. The shade, I was shade matched in the store for this one, but I think their lighting was off. This is Zero R Vanilla. It's just a little bit too dark for me. Um, so during the summer, I can use this if I get like a tiny bit of coloring and really kind of sheer this out. So that's what I've been using. I actually have gone through the majority of this bottle. I really wanted to make sure I used it up because it was a pretty expensive purchase for me at the time. So we can see 00N, 00N, and 0R. And then we also have the Sisley Cushion. This is 00C Swan. And unfortunately the cushion, which is my favorite of their foundations, they don't have the same um, shade range. We don't have as many shades. And yeah, so this is 00C. You can see it's a little bit lighter than the 0R. Um, but I would say, you know, it's a little pinker versus, it's a little bit more of a pinky peach versus an orangier peach, but mm, yeah. It's still a little bit dark for me. So the pearl, the 00N so far has been the best. And then I was looking all over for this, but I actually just used it the other day. This is the Fido Hydro Tent from Sisley in shade zero. And this is one of my favorite skin tints. So uh, this is my second bottle of it. I love this one a lot during the summer. And when they first came out, I was really sad because they didn't have they started off with shades one, two, three. They've now added the zero, which is what I use. One was a little bit too light, but it's just a really nice, little bit hydrating uh, skin tint. And I think it gives you a beautiful finish and just kind of perfects your skin without covering your skin. So that's what I really like about this one. So out of all of those, these two are my favorite base products from Sisley. So we have the Sisley Fido Blanc Le Cushion and the Sisley Fido Hydro Tint. Now, as for concealers, I have used their concealers. They have great formulas. I just don't have a good shade match. So I've had to like mix those with other ones. So I actually don't have any of those right now. But if you have a color match in them, I do really like their concealers. Next up, powders. Uh, you know, I've talked about this in so many videos. This is the Blur Expert. It's basically a powder primer for your skin. This is shade zero, there's also a shade one, and you can see even just putting this on my hand here that it really gives you a nice blurred finish. It doesn't look dry or powdery. You could use this on top of foundation, but I really think it's best as a base or even if you're not putting anything else on. For pressed powders, I love this one, and this is the Fido Pudra Compact in shade number one, rosy. Packaging on this is pretty cheap. I don't like the packaging. Um, it feels like it's gonna break, mine hasn't. It did come with a puff, which I have since um, misplaced, I don't use it. I like this one with a fluffy brush because you really don't need as much product as you get up with a puff. And then this is the loose powder in shade number three, Rose Dorian. So one of my viewers gave me a little tip. This is one of those silicone muffin um, cups and I cut it up and put it in here to prevent the powder from getting all over. You can also keep the puff in here, but um, this is the powder here. I think this is a really nice loose powder. And let me just kind of put this right here. Uh, I really like it. I, since, you know, I've been using like other loose powders, so this isn't one that I've been using all the time, but I think it's a really great loose powder and it's still one of my favorites. So for the shade three, Rose Orient, it's gonna be a very soft, pale pink, you know, almost trans, like a translucent shade but it's gonna have more of a matte finish. If you're looking for something more shimmery, the shade Irisay 
I don't remember what number that is. That might be number one, but that one has a shimmery finish. Let's move on to blushes. So these are the Lorca Day blushes, and I mentioned these during the Get Ready With Me. This is shade number one. This is your original, and these did come with kind of like this sparkling top coat on there. So let's go ahead and put shade number one here, and you can see shade number one is going to be your deepest, and it's really going to be more of an orangey coral shade, like a, a deep peach, essentially. And then for shade number two, which is the one that I use the most, this is Rose. And this is going to be your soft light pink. And you can see just between these two shades here that Rose is a little bit more radiant than number one. One is a little bit more matte, whereas Rose, you can see a little bit of very finely milled silver shimmer. And then the one I used today, this is three Corail. And again, this one and the rose, I use these, these two a lot. So this is gonna be more of a true coral. You can see it's a little bit more pink than shade number one, which has a bit more orange and brown in it. And this one's also gonna be a little bit more shimmery like the rose. So shades two and three overall are a little bit lighter in pigmentation than shade number one. Now, I still absolutely love the, the Lafito blushes from Sisley. Some people love these, some people don't. They are a gel powder kind of texture. This is shade number one, Pink Peony. And I think it's just a really nice kind of neutral pink shade, kind of like a neutral bubblegum pink. And I love these buffed into the skin. I think this particular formula really benefits from buffing it in. This shade here, Two Rosy Fuchsia. This, I mean, it is stunning, buffed into the skin. Why did I close this? We do have a magnetic closure on these. And I mean, look at that. When you buff that in, it's beautiful and you get a little bit of radiance, but there's no glitter in there. So really, I love these and I typically use the Sonia G Smooth Buffer with these. So here is three coral, which is what I'm using today. And this is one of my favorites. And then number four, this is called um, Golden Rose. And this one is actually going to be our shimmery one. So out of all of the blushes, there's only one shimmery one. You can see it's a metallic warm rose with gold in there. So it's a really pretty shade. You could definitely use this as a highlighter for deeper skin tones as well, but it's not my favorite because it does get pretty intense. My favorite of the blushes though is this shade here, number five, which is Rosewood. And you can see it's a really pretty, true Rosewood shade. So number six in this series is a highlighter called Shimmer. It's, in my opinion, terrible. So I really don't like that one because it's kind of like, the formula itself is heavy, it's not sheer. You know, it's like the, it's it's just a little bit too thick and it looks chalky. So in my opinion, it's terrible. I actually purged that one. All right, so these are the blushes. And I'm gonna remove these so we can move on to the next products. So let's move on to the eye crayons. So these are some of my favorites. I have had to purge some over the years, but these, I, you know, I always end up repurchasing them. So let me go ahead and try to go in numerical order here. My number one favorite shade that I've repurchased several times now is shade number one. So uh, this one here is number one and you can see it is going to be kind of a brownish taupe. It's a little bit warmer than a true taupe, but you've got that golden brown uh, hue to it. It's a really beautiful shade. And I did discuss this formula in the um, Get Ready With Me. I think it is just such a really nice formula because it's thin, easy to use, and goes on smoothly, and then it sets. So this is shade number two, which is what I'm using today. I would say it has a little bit of warmth to it. It's more of a steel gray mixed with a little bit of khaki green with golden shimmer. My mistake is not called steel, it's called bronze, no wonder. Um, but I still don't think it's a true true bronze either. It's not quite as um, bronzy as you would expect from a bronze. It definitely looks like you do have a little bit of gray in there mixed with, I guess instead of golden shimmer, more of a bronzy shimmer on top. 
Here is number three. This is the shade Khaki. And you can see that this is a nice green. It's really more of a muted forest green than a true khaki. I think a true khaki usually has a little bit more yellow in here. And this one is more of a true green. You've got a better balance of blue and yellow in there. So it's a really pretty shade. And then we have number four. This is a steel shade. So I'm not sure how I got those mixed up, but you can see that this is a true steel gray, but it has a blue undertone to it. So you know how grays can look a bit, you know, blue or even like brown. This one has a bit more blue. And as a matter of fact, if you look closely at the shimmer, the shimmer in here is blue. This one here is 16. And this is one of the matte shades. This is a matte brown. And you can see it's kind of a mousy brown. It's a neutral brown. I really like that one a lot. And then we have 18, which is a warm peachy brown with some golden shimmer. And then the last one I have here is 19, which is gonna be a little bit of a rosier shade. This is a rose gold. So these are the ones I have. We have one, two, three, four then 16, 18, 19. All right, now with the uh, um, powder shadows, this one here is going to be number 12, and this is called Silky Rosé. We're gonna put this on this side so we can see it a little bit better. And you can see this is kind of a warm rose champagne shade. 14, Sparkling Topaz. This is one of my most used shades. You can see it is the equivalent of the eye, uh, eye crayon. This is a little bit deeper than the eye crayon version. 15, this one's new to me, this is the matte taupe. And I couldn't wait to try this. You can see that this shade here has some gray in there. So it is a true taupe. It actually leans more gray um, than you might expect. But when you put it on the skin, you can see it's really that perfect taupey gray brown mix. So it's on the skin, it's evenly mixed. This one is 20 Silky Chestnut. And this is gonna be a really, just a beautiful, soft, neutral leaning warm brown. We've got a little bit of that golden hue in there. There's a little bit of red in there as well. 21 Matte Cocoa. This is gonna be your deep brown. And you can see we have a cooler undertone in here. 24, one of my most used, this is Silky Steel. And I love pairing this with the um, eye crayons. I had a purple one. I'm not sure if that one ended up breaking or what, but I really like pairing it with that as well. And then also the purple, um, oh, you know what? It's not the purple crayon. It's the purple eyeshadow, which we'll get to in just a second. This one here is 25 metallic khaki and it's a really pretty shade. You can see compared to the khaki eye crayon that this is gonna be a little bit warmer. It's more of a true khaki green, but it is going to be deeper in color as well. Like it's, it's smokier. And then we have 30, the Silky Sky that I used today. And this is a really pretty, very pale blue. And then last up, we have 34 Sparkling Purple. So here's 34. And I love mixing this one with the Silky Steel. So these are the shades that I have for the powder shadows. All right, let's look at some of the Fido Cool Star eyeliners. And these are not going in particular order, just whatever I grab. So we have the Matte Jungle, which is number three in the matte line. And you can see that this is a nice deep green. Really love this one. And I use that one quite a bit. Also in the matte line, we have number five. This is Matte, I believe it was called Matte Peacock, yes. And this is one of those really bright, vibrant blues. Look at that. This is six Mystic Purple, and this one's a little shimmery, but not sparkly like the one I used on my eye today. This is more of your satin finish. And it's a deep, like, more of an eggplant purple. And then we have number 11, Mystic Gold. This one came out, I wanna say, last summer. 
and it is a true warm gold. And this one definitely has a little bit of golden shimmer in it. I would say that both of these mystic shades, the purple and the gold, the shimmer is just very, very finely milled. And this one here is sparkling blue that I used today. And you can see that this one definitely has a lot more shimmer. You can see all of that silver sparkle there. This is number two, Matte Tonka, and I picked this one up recently. It's just a nice matte neutral brown. And just a couple more. This one here is Sparkling Gray. So here's Sparkling Gray, and you can see compared to the Sparkling Blue, again, it looks a little bit, it, you've got more of that shimmer than the Mystic shades. And last up, we've got Mystic Green. And you can see then the Mystic versus the Sparkling. You have much finer shimmer, much less shimmer in the Mystic. And this green is going to be deeper than the uh, first green that we looked at. And there's actually a little bit, the sparkle in there is actually a little bit teal. So the base is more of like a deeper green, like, you know, with more black in that green. But then we have that teal shimmer. All right, so that's it for the eye products. And as I mentioned, one of my favorite mascaras is from Sisley. It's a So Stretch Mascara. I always keep a backup. I like shade number two, Deep Brown. And I've gone through many tubes of this, but I do always purchase it on sale. And it does have like the growth peptides and things like that in there. So I think it's a great mascara if you like something lengthening and not clumping. All right, let's start off with the lip pencils that I have. Nude, this is one of my favorites, by the way. On one end, we do have a lip brush, which is pretty useful. And then they do come with a sharpener. So here's Nude, it's kind of your, it's a little bit of a peachy brown, very soft in shade. And then one of my favorites is Sweet Coral, which I love with those bright coral uh, lipsticks. So. The pencil itself, it's creamy to put on, but it's one of those drier cream formulas. You have plenty of time to smooth it out and then it sets and lasts all day. They are definitely my favorite lip pencils, but they're very expensive. So I only have a few so far. And this is burgundy that I used today. So we have nude, sweet coral, and burgundy. Let's move into the Fetal Lip Twist. These are one of my go-to lip products. I use these a ton, particularly, like I keep these in my handbag, you know, use them a lot during the summer. This is shade number one, which is the perfect nude with a little bit of silver shimmer. And it's like a pinky nude. So that's my most used. And then we have number two, which is going to be a, more of a bubblegum pink. It is a neutral pink. And then eight. This is gonna be more of a bright coral, and you can see it's a pinky coral. I love these because they're sheer, they're balmy without being tacky or sticky. They go on very easily, and they're comfortable. We have 15, now this one you can see is shorter. This was one that you get with a gift with purchase, and this is one of their most popular shades. And it is really gonna be more of a warm, soft rosewood. So you've got kind of those rosewood hues, but it's warmer. So like it's not a true rosewood. It's kind of like a warm version of a rosewood. Then we have number 18. Now this is a matte one. You can see that the matte ones have more of a, your lipstick shape uh, versus the, uh, you know, the other ones more of a actual like round pyramid, like a pencil. So 19 here is also a matte, and this is another one I got with a gift with purchase. This is going to be like a warm rose. And then 24, this is another one of my most used shades. Look at that. It's like a beautiful, deeper, like mauve rose shade for the lips. One of my all-time favorites. One is the one with the shimmer, though. That one does not have shimmer. And then we have 25 which is a really beautiful soft red. This is one of those products that I recommend for people who, um, you know, you wanna start off with red. So we've got 25 and then we have 26, which is also another soft red. You can see that 25 is gonna be more neutral. It's got a little burgundy in it. 26 is gonna be brighter and you have more of that pink fuchsia undertone. So those are the lip twists. Absolutely love those. 
Now, I only have some of the lipsticks, but they are still one of my favorite formulas. I think they are fantastic. They just don't have a ton of light colors. So let's go ahead. This is one of their gift with purchase ones that I've actually purchased this before as well. This is Rose Numia number 21 and one of their classic shades. It is a beautiful classic rose. 15 Beige Manhattan. This is one of my favorites. And you can see it's just a great nude shade. And this, you know, although it looks, you know, like it's kind of a warm nude, there is actually a bit of rose in there, making it really useful for a variety of skin tones. 16 Beige Beijing. This was one of the uh, special limited edition ones that came out last year. So it's got the red case. And you can see this is gonna be like more of a reddish brown shade here. 27 Rose Bolchois, one of my favorite rose lipsticks in general. It is gonna be a warmer rose and it's just a really beautiful classic rose. Let me just show you that with the newest. The newest is Rose Tokyo, which is gonna be a bit deeper and a bit peachier. This, another limited edition, this is 44 Rouge Hollywood. And you can see we do have, it's neutral but leaning cool. And in contrast, we have 45 Rouge Milano, which is a new, like deeper neutral red. It doesn't have that brighter hue to it. Another limited edition was 200. This is going to be Rose Zanzibar. Love this one. It's a slightly cooler, deeper rose shade. And then we have 24. And this one does not have the name on it but this is the one that's on my lips and you can see it's a beautiful berry with a little bit of purple in there. Absolutely love it. All right, let's move on to the lip glosses. We're gonna use the other arm here. And this one here is number two and we're gonna move a bit fast. This is gonna be nude with a little bit of shimmer. This one here is shade three and it is a very light kind of peachy shade there. Four is one of my favorites. This is gonna be a deeper rose. These are all shimmery. Five is going to be more of a brighter fuchsia pink. A Little bit of red in there. We have six, which is more of a bright coral. Seven, one of my most used, is a more pigmented nude shade here. Uh, really love this one. Eight, this is a very, very pale pink, and this one doesn't have glitter in there. It just has a little bit of a natural sheen, but that one's pretty much translucent. This one here is number nine, which is gonna be more of a deeper, like burgundy shade. And we have 10, which is going to be a deeper red. So these are the glosses, two through 10. All right, and last up, we're moving into the Fido Lip Shine. So these are similar to the um, Chantecai Lip Cheeks. Really like these. I actually like these a bit more than the Chantecai. I find them to be more hydrating. They do have that vanilla scent. This is 10 Sheer Nude, 11 Sheer Blossom. Sorry, I'm terrible at swatching with my left hand here. And this is gonna be a warm pink. And I do have a whole video swatching all of these. This one here is 12 Sheer Cocoa. And this you can see is a deep, kind of like a redwood kind of shade. 13, this is Sheer Beverly Hills, which is their uh, relatively new shade, but you can see it's a more opaque. It doesn't have that same sheen that the others have. And I don't like that one. So um, yeah, I just, this one is another good one. This is shade 20, which is Sheer Petal. So you can see even though this is sheer and that's sheer, it does, the Beverly Hills has more opacity. It's like a more opaque peach. I just don't love that. And then we have 21 sheer rosewood. And you can see that these first few here have some shimmer, but these do not sheer rosewood. It's gonna be kind of like a beautiful mauvey rosewood. 22 is sheer raspberry. Absolutely beautiful raspberry pink shade. 23 Sheer Flamingo is gonna be your bright coral. Here's 24 Sheer Peony, which is gonna be more of a deep warm red. We have 30 Sheer Coral. Let's see here, where can we put these? We've got a few more to go. Here's 30 Sheer Coral. You can see that compared to Flamingo, this is gonna be a bit more of an orangier coral and lighter. 31 Sheer Chili is a warm red. 
32 sheer ginger is going to be kind of a warmer um kind of like a peachy nude kind of shade and we have 40 sheer cherry which is a cooler tone red 41 sheer red love is a bright cool tone pinky red you've got that fuchsia vibe there and then we have 42 sheer cranberry which has a bit more uh, purple vibe in there. Really beautiful shade. So those are the Fido Rouge shines. I hope all these swatches were helpful and let me know what your favorites are from Sisley. And uh, yeah, happy shopping. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.